What's up, everybody? It is your boy, Carolina David, coming to you again with another video. Today, I want to talk to all the Hebrew Israelites and all of those who believe that white people are the Edomites and so on and so forth. I want to talk to you all. Let's get it. Let's talk with Carolina David. Let's talk with Carolina David. Okay, uh, I, I, I be seeing a lot of you brothers out there, man, Hebrew Israelites and all of you people that are the same, y'all say that white people are the Edomites, y'all say that they're going to be uh, uh, governed by us and so on and so forth, that we are going to be, that they're going to be in shackles and all of that. But listen, you need to understand that one, when y'all say that Esau was a was a red man for one if I'm not mistaken don't they call light skinned people that are born light skinned by both that they're born by a black man and a black woman but yet they light skinned aren't they called red bone that's one thing two y'all need to understand that God has now found favor upon all people not just the Israelites, not just, you know, whatever you say, but all people, the Gentiles. And I'm going to come from scripture. I'm going to start with Ephesians chapter 2, beginning at verse 1. And it reads, And you have quickened, and you have he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sins, wherein time past you walked according to the course of, the, of this world, according to the prince of the power of air and the spirit that now works in the children of disobedience. So right there is letting us know that we was once children of this world. We was once uh, people that lived in sin, lust, and so on and so forth. Like the Bible says that we were born into sin. We was once that. But now it says verse 3 among whom also, we all had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh. See? Fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. So it's letting you know right there that we was once children of wrath, that we once thought with our mind and thought with our lust, the lust, the desires that we all had. That's what we was governed by. That's what we was led by. Okay, but then it says, verse 4, But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love, wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sin, have quickened us together with Christ. By grace, you are saved. So, we was all quickened together. We was brought together. Whether you be black, white, Hispanic, uh, Chinese, uh, uh, whatever your whatever your color is, we're all brought together by Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Then it says in six, and have raised up together, raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So we raise, He raises us up together when we come to Him. All of us that believe on him and believe that he was dead and uh, that uh, was uh, crucified and rose on the third day, and that he sits at the right hand of the Most High, uh, Most High God, we are raised together, not separate, together. All right. That in the ages, that in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace. In his kindness towards us through Christ Jesus. He's gonna he's gonna show his exceeding grace, riches. Look what it says. Show exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us through Christ. Because he could he could have just killed us. He could have just knocked us off. You know what I'm saying? Said, forget it all, it's over. 
I don't care no more, but yet God, by his exceeding grace, he gave us another chance. And he gave those who were who were not of the promises, and I agree to you, his Hebrew Israelites and stuff, that, the, that we are the chosen people, but yet all people are his people. Because if it's not mistaken, it's even written in scripture says, they shall call me their God, and I will call them my people. That's to all people, brother. Then it says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. We are all saved by Jesus Christ through the faith and through believing on him. Not of works, lest any man should boast. So your works ain't no matter. It's by your belief. It says, For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works which God have ordained that we should walk in them we were all created by God brother we were all created by the most high God so therefore and let's read it again it says for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto God unto good works I would just let the scripture talk to you, bro. Then it says, Wherefore, remember that you being in times past Gentile, in times past Gentiles in the flesh, who are un, who are called uncircumcised by that which is called circumcision in the flesh made by him. So that means those who were uncircumcised by way of the flesh are now made circumcised. Like basically it's saying that like by by hand you were circum you need to be circumcised of the old tradition. So it's talking to the Gentiles. Not us, because we know that us, we had to keep to the law. We had to like Moses, it, every you see it in the scripture where they we were circumcised even with with stones and stuff like that. All right, verse 12. That at the time you were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenant, covenant of promise, having hope, having no hope, and without God in the world. It's talking to the Gentiles, bro. Not us, but the Gentiles. Then it says, but now in Christ Jesus, you whom so, who sometimes were afar off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. So now, you Hebrew Israelites, saying that we're chosen of the Most High God, which we are, but now it's letting you know that through Christ Jesus, he reconciled all of us, black, white, Hispanic, no matter your color, whatever. He reconciled all of us through Christ Jesus' blood. So why would he bind those that who believe in Jesus Christ, who believe on Jesus Christ, why would he bind them up so that we can oppress them? Get out of here with that. For he is our peace who have made both one. Let me say that again. Because I, I, I want y'all to understand. For he is our peace, Jesus Christ. Who have made both one, both Jews and Gentiles, one, and have broken down the middle wall of partition between us. So he tore it down. He tore the individualism down because the Gentiles now have a way to Christ. Having abolished in the in his flesh the enmity. Even the law command, even the law of commandments contained in ordinance for to make in himself of twain one new man, so making peace. I'm gonna read it again, that little part right now. For in himself of twain, one man, one new man, so making peace. But y'all out here not 
Y'all are not making peace. Y'all are breaking the peace. Y'all are if y'all are y'all are are are, 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 are devils, man. You are the devil. Come to Christ. Get that hate out your heart. Because every time you turn around, what are, you, what are y'all talking? What are y'all talking about? What's y'all driving for? Yeah, we was once enslaved, man. 1619, you know what I'm saying? Y'all had war. Yeah, like, come on, bro. Forgive them of the, like they, it wasn't even them. It was the, their ancestors that enslaved us. And matter of fact, you can't even get mad at them for that. Let me tell you why. Because did not God say that He was gonna give us over into uh into the hands of those to be oppressed because we didn't keep to the law, statutes, and commandments? Y'all don't hear me. It's our fault. It's the it's our fault why we were given into slavery, not the white man and not God. It was our fault because we didn't want to be obedient to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God. Talk that to the people. Verse sixteen. And that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity that by Gentile, which is everyone that is not called under the promise of the Most High God to the Israelites, and the Israelites, bringing them, reconciling them both by Jesus Christ and the cross. Y'all need to read this. I wish I had somebody up here that, that would tell him, that would be saying like, that's right, like y'all be doing out there on the street corner. Not even having understanding of the scripture. Y'all not even going by the scripture, y'all going by your own intellect. Let the scripture speak. Verse 17, and came and preached peace to you which were afar, Gentiles, and to them which were not, and to them that were not. Israelite, Jew. He preached to both. Not one, but both. For through him, we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. Through Jesus Christ, we both, Gentiles and Jews, Hebrew Israel, the Hebrew, Hebrew Israelite, we both have access to by the way of the Holy Spirit unto the Father. Now, therefore, you are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. You're, the Gentiles are no more strangers. The Gentiles are no more foreign, but they are one. They are one. We, we, we are we supposed to come together. Verse 20. And are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets. Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. I can read it again. And are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets because the apostles and prophets brought forth the word. Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone in whom all the buildings fitly framed together growth and rose unto and holy temple in the Lord. One body in the Lord. One church in the Lord. In whom you are also built together for inhabitation of God through the Spirit. Y'all need to have understanding, my brother. Y'all need to stop sitting. Y'all need to stop tearing down white people saying that they are Edomites. Saying that they are uh, they're, they're, they're the devil. Y'all don't even have understanding of the scripture when the scripture says, For God loved Israel and hated Esau. For God loved Jacob and hated Esau. Do you understand the reason why he loved Jacob and hated Esau? One, he hated Esau because Esau had sold his birthright for a morsel of meat. That's why he hated Esau, which means that he had a disdain towards Esau because he was weak at that moment. He wasn't strong. Now, another reason, it wasn't actually Esau that he hated, but it said the Edom, Edomite, which is the children of Esau. And the reason why, because of their vengeance that they try to bring upon the house of Israel because of the hatred 
of because let's be honest let's go back to generational curses because of what Esau once had a, 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 a disdain towards his father I mean sorry Esau once had a disdain towards his brother being that he had children the children seen it the children had carried it on the generational curse because Esau and, and Jacob actually came back together and made amends with one another I don't believe Esau is in hell burn because he came back to his brother and made reconciliation to where he even gave his uh, some of his uh, armed soldiers, some of his followers to Jacob for protection. Stop speaking that hate towards these, towards our fellow brothers, because y'all need to understand for one. Two black people can't make a white person. I'm going to say it again. Two black people can't make a white person. Jacob and Esau were both of the same mother and father. If Jacob was black, how can Nagel Esau be white? Just because it said he was red with, red with hairy. Matter of fact, it said that he was red like a blanket of hair. So that means that he was a hairy man. Red hair. Red. And he was red. He was a light skin brother, man. Anyway, I want to I wanted to speak this because we need to come together and love, man. Instead of sitting here trying to run the uh, uh white people away from the most high God, bring them in in love. Forgive them of their ancestors' past. Because we can't change the past. We can only go forth in the future. We can only go forth and, and come together. Because if you keep bringing that this division, which it says in scripture that the, the, that the walls were broken down, but you're trying to build it back up. Not right, brother. Anyway, there's going to be a second part of this. I love y'all. Peace.